Hello friends, welcome back to Sabir CAD. Hope all are doing fine. In this video, I'll explain the concept of Sheet Set Manager in AutoCAD. I have opened two drawings over here and this particular drawing with the name College has got three layouts, A4, A3 and A2 and this residence drawing has got three layouts again that is Residence A4, Residence A3 and Residence A2. That means I have two drawings with three layouts each. If you want to know about how these layouts are created, please click on the link provided at the upper right corner of this video to get an idea about the concept of viewports and layouts in AutoCAD. When I go for a plot, I have to go for six different plots. But using the concept of Sheet Set Manager in AutoCAD, you can grab all or required layouts from different drawings and you can plot in one go. All these things and more is coming up, so stay tuned. Before exploring the topic, I request all of you to subscribe to my YouTube channel Sabir Cat if you haven't subscribed already and hit the bell icon to get instant updates on my future video uploads. Thank you. You can give the command SSM to access the Sheet Set Manager palette in AutoCAD. So I'll give SSM. Now this is the palette. I'll click on Open and New Sheet Set because you're actually going to create a new sheet set. You can create it either as an example sheet set or from an existing drawing. I would like to create it from an existing drawing. So I'll select that and click on next. Then it'll ask you to name it. You can give a suitable name. I'll give say my sheet set. Then you can give a description over here. I'm going to plot two drawings. The name of the first drawing is residence. The second one is college. So I'll give residence and college drawing. Once you create a sheet set, AutoCAD creates a file with an extension of DST for you, which is called a sheet set file. So you have to specify location in which this particular file is to be stored. I'll click on the three dots over here. I'll go to desktop. I'll choose a folder, let it be the Sheets folder which I have created already and open and click on Next. Then you are asked to select folders containing drawings. I have already kept those two drawings in the Sheets folder. So I'll click on Browse. Then I'll select the Sheets folder from the desktop and here it is open. Now AutoCAD will show you the drawings and the layouts. Now if you want you can plot all the layouts because by default all the layouts will get plotted or you can just uncheck a particular layout you don't want to plot. Now I want to plot all the layouts and click on next and here you will get a sheet set preview. This is how it is actually going to come one by one then click on finish. Now you will see the my sheet set which you have created just now and all the layouts. Now I'll right click on my sheet set and click on publish and you can publish it in various formats. You can publish it in DWF which is the drawing web format and as you know drawing web format is a format which can be easily viewed using the web browser. You can plot it to a PDF format and you can plot your drawing straight to the plotter and here we have an option that is sheets at PDF publish options. I'll click on that. The prompt for name is checked. You'll be asked for the sheet set name and multi-sheet file is also checked. That means all the multiple layouts will be plotted in a single sheet. I'll just give OK. And you can also specify the resolution of plot. I'll give OK. Now I'll right click again over here, then publish and I'll click on publish to PDF. Then I'll keep the PDF on the desktop and select. Now your printing or publishing job is processing in the background. That means it is getting processed in the background. I'll just close it. If you wait for somewhere between 30 seconds to 5 minutes, depending upon the speed of your computer as well as the number of layouts to be plotted, you will get the print. Now the plot and publish job is completed because there is a bubble notification over here. Now if you want you can click to view the details. Now I'll check the desktop and open the file that is my sheet set PDF. So in this PDF file, you can see all the six layouts plotted. 
in various paper sizes specified by you. So hence by using the concept of sheet sets, you can save a lot of time and effort when it comes to plotting multiple layouts from different drawings. So that's all for now. Please hit the like button of this video if you liked it and subscribe to my channel SabirCAD if you haven't subscribed already. Until I catch you in the next video with another interesting topic. Bye bye and take care. Thank you so much for your time. But before I sign off, I would like to share with you a little bit of useful information. You can share your AutoCAD drawings straight from your computer to your clients and colleagues using WhatsApp. You can not only share drawings, but you can also share large video files and document files. Please click on the link provided at the upper right corner of this video if you want to know more about this. That's all. Thank you so much.